I just want to say this to some of you guys, and it's very, very important. So, you know, when God gives you an anointing and when God gives you ideas, you have to understand something. Not everybody receives ideas prophetically. Not everybody receives ideas in their dreams. Not everybody has a relationship with God. Do you get what I'm saying? If God has given you so much ideas and you're putting your ideas on the back burner, you're putting your gifts on the back burner and you keep making excuses and you keep and and one year of I'm going to do it next week turns into 6 months, turns into a year, to I'm going to do it next year, turns into another 6 months, turns into another year, turns into 3 years. You have to think back at where you would have been had you implemented that idea at the time you got the idea or had you implemented that idea when God told you to implement that idea. Do you get what I'm saying? When you wait and you don't put your ideas into action, you don't put your plans into action, what ends up happening is you delay your blessings. Okay, most of the times we're sitting here, we're praying to God for a breakthrough. We're praying to God to get out of poverty. We're praying to God to change our life, right? And we sit around and we pray and we pray, we fast, we fast, and God will give us an idea. He will use that idea to answer our prayer. But then as soon as he gives us that idea and he answers our prayers, we start, we don't take action towards it. And then we go back to praying for a breakthrough. We go back to fasting for a breakthrough. And God is like, wait, I've given you 10 ideas by now. 10 ideas. I've given you five ideas to get you out that situation. I've given you three ideas to get you out that situation. Every idea I've given you, you kept saying next week, next week, next week. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I got to lose weight first. I got to learn how to do my hair first. Or I got to do this first, do that first. Or I got to get this first, get that first. Most of the times when God gives us an idea, he gives it to us and he tells us to work with what we have. And then when we work with what we have, we can upgrade later on. We don't have to worry about fixing something first and doing this and doing that first. Let me give you an example. When God told me to um, start my beauty channel, I kept making excuses. I kept saying, oh, I got to wait till then. I got to wait till that. I got to do this first. I got to do that first. And guess what? Two years passed by and I still had those same excuses. Do you get what I'm saying? And if, when I've actually, you know... Um, achieved whatever I had to achieve, I would make up new excuses. And that's what delays us, okay? So when God gives you an idea, here's what I want to tell you guys. Do you know that when God gives you an idea and tells you to do something, do you know that there's something in it for God as well? Do you know that wh whatever he tells you to do is going to end up benefiting him in a positive way it's going to end up benefiting his his kingdom as well it's going to cause it's going to create positive effects on other people if god is putting you in um if god wants you to write a book do you know that that book is going to uplift the people that he needs to see that book that's going to help. Do you know if God tells you to go into construction that there may be somebody in that construction industry that God needs you to reach? Do you know if God tells you he wants you to, you know, start, a, let's just say, fashion line? Do you know that there's someone that you're going to reach or people that you're going to reach in that fashion line, found it, fashion industry? Do you get what I'm saying? There's always something in it for God because there's a purpose behind it. So every time you delay yourself when God is telling you to move, you're also delaying God's plans. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and then you can't sit back and complain and get upset at God when he's giving you the ideas. It's just about you actually implementing them. And it's just about you actually taking the steps to move forward. Okay. Don't waste time. When God says move, just move. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.